There is a saying that victory has 1,000 fathers and defeat is an orphan. A few weeks ago, when she left for Sanya in China for the Miss World Beauty pageant, Queen Abena Cho had almost no official to see her off. She almost never made it for lack of funding. However, today after she finished her second runner-up and the best in Africa, there was an outburst of national pride and joy as she returned with many singing of her praise, wearing t-shirts printed on her images, waving flags. She even returned through the VIP lounge. Yes, here she comes, here she comes. Understandably, Queen Abenacho was excited by the support, especially among those who voted for her online, partially enabling her to win her crown. All I can say is thank you so much for the love and support. Thank you for voting. Thank you for being with me during my journey at Miss World, even as I report back home. The love is so overwhelming. She noted that she did everything for her country. And I'm glad that I was able to do this for my country, for God and my country. Abenacho qualified for the event after becoming Miss Uganda. Minister Chwanda, who represented the government, described Miss Uganda's success as a sign of patriotism and promised to support the Miss Uganda initiative. First of all, as a country, we are very grateful for, for this, uh, for the first time to make it to that number and also to make it as Miss World Africa. Congratulations. Yeah. Uganda, but even Africa as a continent and the world, you know, being number three in the world. She made her way out of the airport, waving the national colors overhead in a convertible vehicle, followed a convoy of unrestrained fans. At the time of broadcasting, Queen Avenacho was due to meet President Museveni, and a meet and greet party has also been organized in her honor at Sheraton Hotel. Olivia Komgisha, NTV Tonight. Yeah,